Hello, welcome to Soothing Pods Sleep Stories. I am Chris, and today I would like you to be my fellow traveler on our shared journey to faraway lands and times. Tonight, I will be your guide on a relaxing journey to a refreshing, peaceful night's sleep. We will explore the rugged and ethereal Mount Desert Island on the coast of Maine as it cycles through four glorious seasons. Before we voyage to the cozy reaches of northern New England, let us take a moment to relax and remember why we are here. Close your eyes. Search for any tension in your body. Are you clenching your jaw or your fists? Is any part of your body rigid or taut? Allow yourself to relax your entire body. There is nothing for you to do in this moment. The world is asking nothing from you, except to listen to this soothing story and give yourself the rest that you deserve. Tune in to the noises around you. It could be the drone of the fan, the steady hum of cars. Maybe it's crickets outside your window or even rain pitter-pattering across your roof. Take a deep breath. Imagine the air around you as a glowing gold light and feel the warmth as it fills your body. Feel the tension melt away with every breath you take. Inhale that glorious gold light and exhale the weight of the day. Feel the weightlessness of your body. Feel the comfort of the blankets engulfing you. Think about how nice it is to just lay in bed to have nothing to do but relax and savor this moment. Now that you're comfortable, let us journey to the Atlantic Ocean. Mount Desert Island is the second largest island on the eastern seaboard, a stunning land with only one road in and out. The island is a place where one can find unity with nature and the sea itself. Dotted with only four small tourist towns, the island is largely made up of Arcadia National Park, one of the most beautiful national parks in the United States. The island is blanketed in three dozen species of trees, from fragrant evergreen white pine and red spruce to the atmospheric tendrils of weeping willows and lofty birch trees. The island is painted a vibrant green from one end to the other. The coast is rugged. Rocky cliffs wind and curve against the sparkling blue of the Atlantic Ocean. As far as the eye can see, the Atlantic is flecked with dozens of islands, all promising a new adventure. You find yourself here in the height of spring. Spring here comes later than in many other places in the United States. Here, in the crisp Maine ocean air, snow can linger underneath the shadow of pines and on the mountains until mid-May. When the landscape has finally shaken off its winter slumber, it awakens in a ripple that casts vibrant flowers across the island. Daisies, goldenrods, asters, 
Lupines and lilies sprout up from the newly awakened soil. They soak up the nutrients of the fresh spring rainfall and coat the meadows in a sea of brilliant yellow, white, and purple. Early one promising spring morning, you step outside and begin a journey down Acadia's carriage roads, a system of gravel paths that bend through the lush forest of Arcadia National Park. The carriage roads are a place of solace and tranquility. The early morning air is dense and woodsy. There's a bite in it that begs you to be present. A low fog embraces the trees and the path. The haze creates an atmospheric mood in these serene woods. You find yourself walking underneath the trees. You breathe in the aromas around you. The calming scent of pines, the invigorating freshness of damp earth around you. Can you hear the crunch of the gravel underneath your boots? Or the chickadees overheard singing their melodic song to the forest? With each step, you feel more and more like you're part of something. As you pass a cobblestone bridge, you can't help but stop and look at the empty road underneath you. You come to the end of the trail, just as you're about to bid farewell to the carriage roads. You gaze up a flash of red that glows out of place in the greenery around you. A fox sits on the mossy forest floor. By spring, female foxes have already had their litter. Around May, the mothers begin to move their precious cargo to new dens for better protection. For a moment, you marvel at the fox. Its fiery coat is breathtaking, almost otherworldly. These woods are her home, a beautiful habitat where she will spend her whole life, raising kits, searching for food, bounding through the flowers and trees as the seasons pass. She blinks at you. For a fleeting instant, it's as if you understand each other. You're both trying to live your fullest life trying to enjoy these invigorating woods. She rises to her feet and bounds back into the depths of the trees, leaving you with a sense of belonging and peace. Now that the woods have refreshed you, you decide to take a drive down Park Loop Road, a 27 mile loop around the island. Park Loop Road dances along the rocky coast with stunning views of the ocean. You roll down the window and feel the salty ocean breeze caress your face. The ocean in this part of the world is particularly fragrant due to high salt content and a surplus of seaweed. The scent of the Atlantic in New England has an unmistakably clean and briny tang an energizing smell that begs the senses to be present and enjoy the fresh air. You savor the taste of the air, the chill of the breeze, and as the road winds to meet the ocean, you begin to savor the sound of those waves caressing the rocky shore. Every turn seems to be better than the last. In spring, very few visitors venture up to Acadia National Park, leaving the road and views unobstructed for you, and you only. For several miles, you drive along the coast. The rocks and cliff faces along the water are a stark contrast to the emerald pines and cobalt blue waves they are sandwiched between. The road curves inland, giving you one last parting view of the Atlantic in your rearview mirror. You find yourself driving over stunning hills, 
weaving and meandering through rows and rows of stark white birch trees. Tucked between the trees, tiny stone cottages are nestled, which practically transform the woods into a fairy tale land. As you finish your drive, you settle into your new home in one of the cottages. You can still feel the fresh air on you. Your clothes are sweet with the perfume of the wildflowers and the sea air. You crawl into bed. Your body feels renewed. You are reminded of that special time in our lives when we bloom and welcome a brand new year. After a few months, of springtime bliss, you find yourself in the height of summer. The island is alive with the sustained chirp of cicadas, the buzz of bees as they dart between the remaining flowers. Summer is a busy time of year in Acadia National Park, Bar Harbor, and the whole of Mount Desert Island. Tourists flock by the thousands to see the island alive in all its splendor, and for good reason. The summer temperatures animate the land. Sand Beach, located in Acadia, bustles with smiling families brave enough to dip their toes in the chilly waves. Bar Harbor, the biggest town on the island, buzzes with tourists as they flit in and out of the shop. This picturesque town is lined with cobblestone streets and antique buildings. Nestled right on the water, the stunning harbor is dotted with islands and hundreds of sailboats, giving visitors a perfect view while they're enjoying a cool drink in the sunshine. You find yourself wandering down these stone streets. Each store radiates with nostalgic, welcoming energy. All around you, families laugh and smile. Children dart around in the sunshine, waving candy and stuffed animals purchased from the charming gift stores to your right and left. With each step you take, you're met with a new glorious aroma the sweet, sweet smell of ice cream parlors as they bake their cones and make their treats from scratch, the delectable scent of fresh Maine lobster rolls dripping with butter. All of this while you stare at the ocean in the distance. You imagine yourself on one of the sailboats, breathing in the salt and sun gazing longingly at the mountainous island before you. Unable to resist the desire any longer, you hop on a charming boat and head out into the waves. The ocean greets you with graceful waves, salty spray, and the idyllic call of seagulls overhead. There's something so freeing about being out on the open water, isn't there? Summer is the height of whale and puffin watching season off the coast of Maine. As whales migrate for food, puffins settle into nooks and crannies on the craggy coastlines to lay their eggs. In the water around you, a ripple begins to form. A humpback whale rises from the sea, cresting the surface with its unfathomable size. Humpback whales often return to the same feeding grounds year after year. The whale before you has created a life here, a routine. Something so large occupies the same space as us. Consider how connected we are to nature, how many creatures we're fortunate to live and breathe, work and play alongside. The whale hovers at the surface for a long moment. You can hear it breathing. You can see as it rolls in the water, washing its slate-gray body in the white-capped waves. Its eyes seem to stare into you, humbling you, 
reminding you how much we are all a part of the same system, inhabitants of the same world. As quickly as it appeared, it dips back into the depths. With a flick of its enormous tail, it disappears into the waves, bidding you farewell until next year. The rocking motion of the ocean lulls you to a comforting rest as the boat heads back to shore. You return to the island. The humidity in the air is whisked away by the delicate ocean breeze, leaving you with the perfect temperature for a beach trip. You make the beautiful tree-lined drive up to Sand Beach. As you crest over the stone stairs, you're met with a stunning view. A sandy inlet nestled between granite mountains and a rocky peninsula. Sand Beach is an idyllic slice of life on the main coast. You lay down on a towel. You can hear the sand crunch and settle underneath your body. Overhead, the sun warms you and seagulls call. The ocean waves are delicate and constant. The crash as they hit the shore, sending waves of tranquility through your entire body. The repetitive motion of them allows time to pass for you slowly, beautifully as you lay and focus on nothing but their gentle crash and pull. They crash and pull, crash and pull, crash and pull, crash and pull. Your eyelids feel heavy. Your body feels warm, flecked with the softness of the salty air. In this moment, everything is perfect. You lay there, delighting in the simplicity of nature's beauty, until the sun begins to set. The pinks, purples, and oranges of the sun are reflected on the ocean. As the colors fade to the black of night, you feel at peace knowing your day here has been spent in the best way possible. As quickly as summer came, it begins to transition to autumn. The whales head south for warmer waters. Birds across the island busy themselves finding food and warmth for the coming winter months. The tourists return home, leaving you with an island full of splendor to explore with no crowds. As October creeps up on New England, the greens of the trees fade to oranges, reds, browns, and yellows. On a crisp fall morning, you take a winding drive to the peak of Cadillac Mountain, the highest mountain on the eastern seaboard. Cadillac Mountain is the first place in the United States to feel the warmth of the sunrise each and every day. You drive up the massive mountain in the darkness of morning, eager to see the sun rising over the Atlantic. You take a spot on a boulder with a warm drink. Steam wafts off the drink as you bring it to your lips. Though the air is cold, there is something energizing about it. The autumn air is unmistakably fresh, alive, and at the same time, comforting. Every breath you take seems to fill your lungs in a refreshing way that it never has before. As the sun peeks over the horizon, the landscape far below you begins to change the sky explodes with pinks, purples, and oranges. The light streaks across the water, bending around mountainous islands, awakening the boats and bathing the coastal communities in its warm glow. 
The orange and yellows in the sky seem to match the fiery leaves below. The island at your feet seems to be ablaze in hundreds of marvelous hues. As the world around you stirs awake, birds begin to chirp, chickadees dart by your head, branches and nesting materials hanging from their beaks. Below you can see people begin to leave their homes. Boats begin to lift their anchors and set off to their next destination. Cars zigzag through the fiery forest. You finish your drink, feeling anew, and set off down the mountain to begin your next adventure. You settle into a kayak on Jordan Pond, just at the base of Cadillac Mountain. You paddle out onto the serene, glassy water. The call of the birds in the forest echo around you. Everything is incredibly still. The colors of the trees that coat the mountains are reflected in the water. With each paddle, a ripple of colors seems to dance across the pond. The air is chilly. A biting cold in the wind tells you that winter is just on the horizon. Every time a breeze courses over you, you curl more into your down jacket. Its warmth brings you immense comfort as you float over the still water. As you settle onto shore, you glance back at the pond, knowing the next time you see it, it will be covered in a blanket of ice and snow. On the coast of Maine, snowfall can begin as early as October. Mount Desert Island sees an average of 21 inches of snow per season, enough to cover every inch of the island in a sparkling white blanket. The number of visitors to the island plummets, leaving the land with a type of silence and peace that is hard to find elsewhere. Braving the cold, you pull on a winter jacket and step out of your cabin into the forest. Its beauty is unmatched. Each tree is dusted in stark white snow. The pines bend under the weight, showing only glimpses of their bright green needles. Overhead, round snowflakes fall from the gray sky. They seem to fall in slow motion, dancing down to the earth at their own gentle, graceful pace. You strap on some snowshoes to traverse further into these magical woods. There's a type of silence around you that makes you feel like the only person on Earth. During winter, the powdery snow muffles the sound of the forest. Noises travel shorter distances, leaving you to journey through a soundless winter wonderland. The only thing you can hear is the crunch of snow under your snowshoes. Each breath of the brisk air fills you with energy. For a moment, you stop walking and breathe in the scenery around you. It's hard to believe the cold, quiet world is alive. But if you look closely, you see it. Above you, bright red northern cardinals sing as they dart between pines, their brilliant down feathers fluffed up to keep them warm even in the coldest temperatures. Chickadees huddle together in the branch next to you, chirping happily. You head to Southwest Harbor, a small town tucked in a cove on the other side of the island. You settle in front of a window with a cup of steaming hot chowder. You gaze out at the ocean, the lobster boats, and the pines as the new snowfall clings to all of them. The island may appear quiet now, but underneath it all, things are stirring. Winter is the time for rest. 
a time to breathe deeply, to move slowly, to enjoy life fully. As the sun dips over the horizon, you're reminded that rest is a beautiful, necessary thing. You curl into your jacket, cozy and fulfilled, as your eyes begin to drift closed as the world around you welcomes the importance of relaxation, of time spent recharging. I hope you've enjoyed this story and found a time to drift off to a comfortable slumber. Good night and sweet dreams. I'll see you again tomorrow for another journey.